Shouts out to Liam Neeson. Oh, yeah. Got a, f- a friend of the show, <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> Elders, uh, so, yeah, he said that... Uh, he said he was racist 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I found, Honestly, out, I found out somebody shoplifted uh, some Bazooka Joe some... from my friend's store, <laughs> and I was filled with a rage. I was filled with a rage that sent me out onto the streets just hoping some black bastard <laughs> would yeah, ask me the... what time it was <laughs> so I could clock him over the head with a shillelagh. What the fuck did he say? What, he had? He, what was he? Yeah, a, what a cudgel? He... What, no, yeah, he said I some sort of weapon that I didn't yeah, know what it was. I don't know. Some kind of like Gaelic was... weapon that's only oh, used yeah. for hate. Hate crimes. Yeah, I was yeah. assuming it was some sort of billy club with yeah. nails on the end. Yeah, right. Something. Well, son, I think we used this when the the Chinese first moved. Your great grandfather. Yeah. The best part of the <laughs> takes quote it out of a fucking said, black my friend. Bastard. My friend told yeah. me that black a curse was good. placed upon her by a Chinaman. <laughs> yeah. I went out on the streets that night with a wand, hoping to stab some Chinaman in the eye. <laughs> Just my eye stabbing wand. <laughs> Like every Irishman, I have an eye stabbing wand. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's an Irish bar mitzvah. Yeah, <laughs> this is your first hate crime. Mm, yeah, that's all Marky Mark was doing, man. Of course. Yeah. How many, <laughs> how many of black age. guys are in Ireland? There's the guy from Thin Lizzy. Whoever plays on that's Celtic, it. there's probably a yeah. center back. I went out trying Celtics to beat up the guy from Scotland. Thin Lizzy. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah, whatever. What went up trying? He tried to just looking for the guy. Yeah, he was trying to beat up the guy from <laughs> Thin Lizzy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Liam is, Neeson fucked my ass tonight. What a funny thing to say in an interview. I that know. you were racist for no reason, by the way. It didn't but feel it, like they pressed him yeah. on it. Or well, I know, and it's because it's like Liam Neeson has been at home watching all these things happen in the culture, like saying to his wife or whoever he lives with. He's I like, think his wife got got by the Lord. Oh, really? She yeah, she died, and I think that sent him down. A she weird... got murdered by God. Yeah, ba- that's, and when everyone dies, anyone dies, she, they get got yeah. by God. <laughs> I, my <laughs> wife was killed by God, <laughs> <laughs> and I was so mad, I went out looking for the first black bastard I could find, just to smash his face in with my my gulabrecht or whatever. <laughs> this is my Irish pet rock that I used to throw through the fucking warble yeah. bone. You really didn't need to say that. But what yeah. do you do if you were racist 30 years ago? You say you weren't racist 30 years ago, and I then they you find just out you're racist you can 30 probably years say, ago, and then they look, say you're we're, a liar. we're celebrities. We get it. Yeah, as a you know, celeb. As, as, a well, as, celeb. Celebs, as celebs, you have this impulse to chime in, mm-hmm. yeah. and it is never the correct impulse. No, no, I just stay off. Shut no up. No thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just shut I up. never make my opinions on anything known. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have none. I'm dumb as shit. Have I considered a hate crime? You'll never know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, I've made but a maybe couple not. opinions known. Here's the thing: you can say you used to be racist. Don't say that you would rogue you try to the murder streets and black about guy. murdering a random black. Well, guy. what's funny is like the outrage about what he said was that like he went out on the streets hoping some black guy would provoke him so he could hit the guy back, and like no one's. I, I at least I haven't seen it mad at like the implication that black people just go around assaulting whites. Right. They're right, mad right. that he says he would have retaliated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the implication that that would happen is worse than like him saying he would beat some. He's just describing defending himself. Yeah. In the that is a very meathead thing. Like that is a very I wish a motherfucker would. Would, yeah. That you know, that's a all Liam just was start saying. Start with me, bro. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I a wish meathead. a motherfucker would is fucking everywhere. Every group of people that's does. That's what I mean. That's, that's what, what the internet is, is sitting that's online saying, saying I wish a motherfucker would. Yeah, he's mm. just verbalizing that. Yeah. That's that's very in fact he's if anything, he's stealing Guido culture. Yeah. That's very yeah. fucking bro. What would you say, bro? Mm-hmm. You look at me, bro? Yeah. That's the moment he was wishing for. Well, it's funny because this Liam thing is keeping that Jussie Smollett story in the news. Why? What's going on with because that? Because they kind of they they work in tandem. Because like the whole argument is that like nobody's just going around looking for like gay black guys to beat up, and then Liam Neeson is like, I went around looking for gay black guys. To beat up. <laughs> it wasn't a gay black guy, just was any. Black I would guy. take any kind of black. I was guy hoping I could for find. a gay one because they'd be they're easier, easier to, to beat up. Yeah. <laughs> I had read online that they're they're they, weak. <laughs> as they're called, young bucks can be violent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was Liam hoping Neeson. it was <laughs> the <laughs> rare gay black man <laughs> Liam trying to rape his way into straightdom. 
<laughs> going to like a fucking black hospital, yeah. and like waiting for some yeah, right. someone on chemo to fucking mm-hmm. look at him funny. <laughs> <laughs> Take What's that. Black That's hospital? for raping. Huh? It's a hospital with black people. It's, hospital with black people. it's an Maybe all like black a, hospital. Yeah, Maybe dude. like an HBCU. So- <laughs> hospital <laughs> people all over the world the world <laughs> how you doing i'm dr don cornelius welcome to soul hospital where the only medicine is flavor <laughs> come on man i just need insulin please stop dancing <laughs> Just stop dancing at me, man. Just give me the insulin. <laughs> and our guest tonight is Peebo Bryson. <laughs> I got the system featuring Shaka Khan. <laughs> Universal Hospital. Welcome to Whole Train. Eating <laughs> pussy all over the world, the world. <laughs> I would love to host I'm, Whole I'm, Train. I'm Dome, Dome Cunt Edius. <laughs> Dome Cunt Edius. <laughs> Bring you some of the finest, flyest, pussy eating and dick sucking there is in entertainment today. It's just a bunch of people clapping and like sucking each other's dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Woo. Go Stella! Go Stella! Go Stella! Go Stella! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! Mm-hmm. So, what's your name? Who your crew? <laughs> so that's what I happens suck. at a black. A hundred dicks. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens at black. That's basically hospital. the black. black and Liam black Neeson Adams. is like, "What the what fuck is, is going this? on? <laughs> They're just dancing. What is this rape? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is the rapist?" <laughs> How about a sequel called Schindler's Pissed? Uh oh. And he yeah. goes around. He's under the Finally. impression that Hitler was black. Mm. And he's like, I've they, he killed six million of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I rove Germany, and now I'm going around <laughs> Germany, <laughs> black bastard. <laughs> Germany, black. That was the problem with the Holocaust. It was too expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those dumb Germans. Yeah. They didn't know how to pinch pennies. <laughs> if only the <laughs> ironic, because mm-hmm. who could have helped him cut costs? Yeah, I bet like the end of mm-hmm. Schindler's List. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how good you guys are at this. Schindler's <laughs> best of luck. I'll get on the train now. Yeah, <laughs> Schindler's List, where it's like you know at the end where he's like, this could have been a person, and this could have been a person, you know. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one of the Jewish guys been like, oh, maybe I could have been two buttons. Or... <laughs> Maybe three. Of, you know, I don't know. It's a good trade. I don't know. If you give me four of those buttons, I'll let you guess, man. <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? You're Jewish bastard. You're Jewish piece of shit. <laughs> Why did I see you? Black bastard. <laughs> black bastard. Black bastard. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to go kill a black My bastard. Fr- yeah, what the fuck was that? Was that was awesome. Out of nowhere. Yeah, right. I used to be racist. What? My, did He's just his friend home. got raped or something? Yeah, Deirdre. I think they're going to want me to go on the news and talk about Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I don't think that's right, Liam. I don't think they want you to no. do that. No, I can feel it. You can see I'm pissing myself again. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know it's time for me to go on the news. <laughs> you know, a lot of people in America are protesting, and it reminds me of a time my friend was raped by a boo. Uh, Ireland TV has gone off the air permanently (laughs) because of Liam Neeson's recent racist fit. That's not my point. It's about how I'm not racist I'm anymore. Not anymore. I'm not anymore. But I used but to I be. I used to say the end when I had quite a bit. I, I had to get kill a any black bastard to play the villain in Batman. <laughs> I've never played a villain before. The only role I've ever played was Qui Gon Jinn in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think I've been in other movies, and it's not true. That's fake. It's my it's a guy that looks it's, like me. There's a, there's a different guy. I've only played Qui Gon Jinn and. <laughs> The guy in Batman and <laughs> Razal Ghul sounds kind of like Quagon. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, I, I told my agent when I got involved in this business, I only want to play Chinese people or Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> and he said the best we can do is the bad guy in Batman and I probably Jedi, would sh- the, well, I what was supposed to be a Chinese person <laughs> when they wrote the movie and then the producers got their hands on it and said, we're trying to sell tickets to this piece of shit. <laughs> 
not put on the Olympics. <laughs> Uh, get, get a fucking white guy to do it. We're not, we're not, we're not having one of the main characters go around babbling like it's a fucking laundromat. <laughs> you can call him Qui Gon Jinn, but by goddamn, he's gonna be a fucking white guy. That's what they said. That's my best guess. And then the same thing with Batman. They said Raz Al Ghul. What about this handsome Afghani actor? And I said this isn't a fucking magazine. <laughs> We're not doing a print spread. We want people to sit there for two hours. 9-11 was 15 minutes ago. You're talking about putting a Muslim in the movie as the friendly bad guy. That's supposed to be... How is the audience not going to see that coming? That the Muslim's a bad guy. It's fucking 2005. You're tipping your hand. You fucking retards. <laughs> why, not just, why not just make him a plane? <laughs> Why not just name him United Flight 93? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> and then see if people don't see it coming. <laughs> and that's how I got my two roles. And that's and so to get it. But character. anyway, back to block people. I had to imagine that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that Batman was the same. <laughs> Batman television has gone off the air permanently. Ireland's only two channels, Ireland TV and Batman television, are now gone. And we regret to inform you that we have to bring back 24 hours of Riverdance. That's the only thing that Ireland actually exports and then re-imports all of its television content as shit we sold to the Discovery Channel in the 1990s. Why the Which fuck is, was Riverdance so famous? Because Ireland has zero culture. This shit was so boring. Because Ireland is worthless. It was like interesting for f 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. When I went out to find that black bastard, the first thing I did was put on a comfortable <laughs> pair of premium fabric underwear. <laughs> That's right. From working out, going out, going to work. And it felt so good on my cock. The racism <laughs> just slipped away. That's right. And then I pissed myself. And then, he, and, and but then I did one of my classic pissing my pants in public moves. Mm -hmm. and what's There's so many pictures of him like that. I, with his with, with his pants just absolutely, he's pants. pissed himself like five times. Uh, Liam Neeson, <laughs> yeah. Gerard Depardieu as well. There's well, a ton. Here's the of nice him thing: pissing himself. <laughs> that's, that's why you should Being use so Mac. Being so drunk, you piss yourself on a plane. <laughs> that's why you should use Mac Weldon because they offer a wide range of customized fabric. Yeah, they can keep up with you no matter what your day looks like or how much you piss yourself. I'm so jealous, dude. I wish, I wish I was him. Yeah. You just, you, you, you're the king of the world. You you played two of the most memorable characters of all time. Yeah. Qui Gon Jinn <laughs> and, and Ra's Ra's Al Ghul. Ghul. <laughs> yep. Two of the best characters ever. And now you just you're jet set, pissing yourself, going on TV, blowing it, fucking getting drunk, <laughs> pissing yourself. Yeah. Doing some movie where they're like they're like, well, the premise is is that there's wolves and they're after you. I'll do it, fuck it. I don't fucking care. I'll punch I don't give wolf. a shit. Do I get to keep the parka? <laughs> then I'll do it. I want is it's a Canada goose. Yeah, everyone on production. Gets you know, I saw a bunch of Chinese people wearing them, and I thought those had got to be cheap. And it turns out, it's fucking nine hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, where the hell do these Chinese people get yes, the money for that? that's right. Pussy 2.